Welcome back to this special edition of the World Trade webcast. Today, we're continuing with the second part of our five-part interview with Rolf Larson, CEO of the Dot Global Registry. So Rolf, we talked in general about the new TLDs that are available for businesses and consumers. Now let's talk a little bit more specifically about Dot Global. Can you tell us what the genesis of the Dot Global TLD was and how fast it's growing? Yeah, um, so the, the beginning of Dot Global was, um, uh, I guess, our own experience, us that founded the company, uh, our own experience with domain names and, uh, and with founding businesses. I mean, we, we founded a lot of businesses over the years. And every time uh, we do, we, we build a new brand. And uh, to find uh, available names, uh, domain names out there that works, it's, uh, it's not uh, easy. And uh, we wanted, uh, when this option came, to, to create a, a domain ending that um, uh, we would be proud to put behind uh, any online branding and, uh, and a domain name uh, that would uh, express exactly what we want and, and what we want with, often with a new startup uh, is to look, look big and also to express that we are not uh, bound to one country. You know, that we want to do business across uh, countries. And that's uh, where we uh, where we came up with dot uh, global. Also, uh, because the word global uh, it uh, means the same thing in a lot of languages, and it's written uh, in the exact same way as well. So, so we we haven't uh, even uh, even almost four years after we we chose that name uh, have not uh, come up with or seen any better name to put behind a brand that. Uh, either ex uh, aspire to be global or, or uh, someone that already uh, do work uh, globally. Excellent. And, and uh, clearly it's, it's an, a terrific brand identity builder. How fast is the brand growing? I mean, we, we feel that we grow pretty fast. We, we are also a domain name that is um, mostly for, for businesses uh, or business use, uh, although anyone can buy a global domain, so it's not, uh, it's not restricted to, to businesses. Uh, but it's also a more expensive domain than, than for example, a consumer uh, domain. Uh, so, um, so we uh, are growing um, with about, uh, yeah, I guess, about three to 400 domains a week. Um, so, um, you could say that uh, that's uh, slow in terms of um, or compared with .com or compared with many other uh, existing domains, but uh, but it's very new and the world doesn't really know about this yet. You know, this is uh, not even one year old, um, so uh, so we're struggling with the awareness. Uh, but uh, but uh, the speed of the registrations are picking up. We have about 100 resellers worldwide. Uh, and uh, that's also increasing. So uh, probably in uh, a year or two, we will have uh, closer to three or maybe 400 resellers. So, so we should uh, see this picking up to, to thousands a week uh, after some years. But, um, but we are happy with the, with the numbers for now. We are doing uh, one of the domains that are doing the best uh, in terms of, um, in a, in also in terms of uh, financial um, uh, performance. Uh, in this new program. Excellent. And we'll talk some more about how people can register for a dot .global domain uh, in one of our next segments. So thanks for watching, and please tune in again for the third part of our interview with Rolf Larson, CEO of the dot .global registry, online at go.global.